great. Hey, you don't have those stinky socks with you. Now I know who the stinky guy is. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Mark's the spot. Is that like Max the Knight? Well, I think <laughs> it's about a dog who changed his name. Oh, oh Max man. Mark. Mark's. Look, down there, Raymond Carver. This must be a oh, short. <laughs> and uh, Weber, the grill magnet. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a stretch there, I'd say. Me? <laughs> yeah. And George Matthews as the you beaver. do that every it's, movie. Well, well, you know. Yeah, it's neat. It's, it's in the contract. It's credits. It's gotta be. And who's the commissioner? Arthur W. McGee. Arthur McGee and Molly. <laughs> McGee, McGee. And these fatal traffic accidents mm -hmm. involving key workers in New Jersey war plants. When did you start having these feelings that you were a commissioner? Imperative. That we open a second front. We drop the God, I love you. I want to shout it from my oxygen tent. Is this for immediate release, Commissioner? Yeah. No, sit on it for a while. The loss of life or any disabling injury to a war worker means a definite setback to our war program. If you kill yourselves here, yes, we can't kill them war. over there. We kill. Sounds like Commissioner Fudd. Our fellow countrymen, without malice, without hatred. Without thinking. Without energy, would you wake up? Come on! <laughs> to conserve the lives of the people mm -hmm. and to improve traffic conditions. Improve traffic conditions. Imagine, if you will, a New Jersey city with a population of over 20. I can 000. almost see it. Enough people to fill a large hey. stadium. Suddenly removed. Hmm. By death or injury. Wow, looks like a Gino Vanelli concert. Some idea <laughs> of the annual traffic toll in the state of New Jersey alone. Wow. Perhaps you, you can't see it from here, but my torso is fused to a block of granite. But most of the drivers and pedestrians who were involved didn't break all the rules. Just some. Just once in a while, they were careless or inconsiderate. Oh, they didn't want to live in New Jersey anymore. It just take. Oh. Yes, driving and walking in modern traffic is often careless, inconsiderate, and from the other But I get a view, kick out of it. Sometimes fantastic. <laughs> it's fabulous. fabulous. Traffic is a bit fantastic, too. It's about a car. Bing. It's called parallel universe The kind you need these days to get home in. <laughs> Neat. And it must be a safe car. One this one checks out. Right. And then there's a driver. Whoa. A guy named Joe Doe. Hi, how you doing? Come on, Joe. See yeah, he does look familiar. Yep. Sure, he lives on your street. In fact, he's well, under your bed right now. Day... Oh. Sorry. Don't get sore, Joe. Just absent-minded, left mm -hmm. his car in gear. Let it go. Oh. Well, what do you know? He uses so the Braille system. Yep. That a boy, Joe. I'll ten. Mm -hmm. Maybe Joe will be different this time. Oh, oh this is scary. Again, pulling away from the curb. <laughs> Thank you. Without the have a nice day. Well, as we were saying, Joe didn't have much patience in traffic. Nope. Joe used to say, If you're going to bury a body in a shallow grave, make sure well, you use quicklime. happen to the right people. <laughs> well, he used to now say take that. a situation like this. If Joe were in a hurry, it seemed there was always somebody in his way. Some inconsiderate guy. Yep. Well, if you can get around him and beat that light at the next corner. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? And here's a hot dog. I got a date with light. death. There goes the light. Mm -hmm. You see how it is? As Joe often <laughs> yep. said, these Oh, I've enjoyed this good natured ribbing. Thank you. Not. Thank you very much. Thanks for almost killing me. Yeah, That's you. it. Take me to I'll Third Street. Huh? As Joe says, huh? traffic you, these Joe. days would drive a guy nuts. Nah. Like that. Didn't even close the door. Hey. Oh, what a it's man. crazy Guggenheim. <laughs> well, let's leave Joe to straighten this one out while we get on to the story. Now, there was a street intersection not far from where Joe lived. Called Blood Alley. It every day. No signals or stop signs. Not much traffic. One of those places where nobody bothered to slow down. Made a you good feel place happy. for an accident. I'm any trouble. Here comes a car now from one direction. Hey. And, uh -huh. what? Uh oh. Ah. Here comes Joe from the other. Let's and watch the fun. Slows down, we think the joke right will here. be on <laughs> Joe. Oh. I guess he can't be a witness. All right, folks, there's the two drink minimum now. It's Joe Dokes, a neighbor of mine. Huh. He's got a lovely wife and two beautiful children. Now I make my move. Seems like a swell guy, Joe did. Oh, except when he ate. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm? Shows of our cup, or maybe not. So? Crypto Joe. It wasn't my fault. I had the right of way. Oh, uh, tell it to the corpse, pal. Hmm? I was only doing 15 miles an hour. Yeah. Hey, where is that guy? Oh, uh, he's with your wife, Joe. Been a careful driver all my life. Yeah. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. I've been driving for 15 years and I never. Hey, is that Patrick never... Swayze's father? Are you George Bailey? Oh, oh sorry, wrong film. No use wasting time with these mortals. They can't help you hey, anymore. Hey, it's Elton John. My neighbors, no. my friend. Huh, you know yeah. I know. Yeah, you used to know. Him. Yeah, they're it's your paw bearers now. Come on. Take my um, hand. See Daisy. We've got some tall explaining to do. Do you think they're going to talk about how ugly that guy is? Hmm. Come on, let's go talk to Hamlet's dad. Here's Mr. Jordan. <laughs> hey, now over there, that's Mick Jagger's cloud. Stay off of it. Now, this isn't one of those high school dreams where they're going to have him walk around naked or... I you know, don't think so. Got a class he forgot about until now. Huh. What is this, an ice rink all of a sudden? Whoa! I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just sealing some fates. Today in Dead People's Court. Uh, <clears throat> uh excuse me. Uh, uh, pardon your, uh... Mr. God? Sir. Uh, dear diary, it's hard being God. Huh? Oh, later. Oh, where are your skates, boys? Oh, my line, sorry, and my hat, excuse me, your honor, uh, oh, your sir. Good morning, sir. There are no good mornings here. I'll decide if it's a good morning or what not. What was your name? What was my name? Hmm? You mean, sir, I'm finished? All washed up? Oh, well, that A6. depends on the evidence. Oscar Luego Buckley? Uh, six your holiday. name? Joseph Doak, sir. Joseph hmm. Doak. Joseph Funny Doak, neighbor, huh? sir. Hmm. Dokes. Dokes. Let's Dokes. see. There's Dokes. dickweed, dog, dumb shit. Ah, Dokes. here it is. Joe Dokes. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you were born in New Jersey, eh? Hmm. I thought I smelled something. Your age? I'm going to be 36 on my next birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next right. birthday? Boy, God sure has a crummy office, doesn't he? Hmm. Uh, he wasn't That's because all the decorators are in hell. <laughs> yeah. Fine guardian you turned out to be. Why, if it wasn't for me, Your Honor, he'd have been here years ago. A waste driver in New Jersey, and you expect me to keep my out of trouble. records show no convictions against this man. Oh, he might go free. Yeah, he right, did a favor for Sinatra once. Mm. I've been driving for 15 years. Oh, I'm silence. Gonna... This court isn't interested in your opinion. Oh. Proceed. Don't you see, Your Honor, that record of no convictions only proves how well I've guided him. You see, I stopped a cow with my face once. My forehead's all bondo. Well, he wasn't a bad fella. No. Good natured egg. egg. Kind to his family. Hot boy. Very considerate of everyone. Except oh, Strap often. You see, Judge, I'm not such a bad guy. Please let me go back. Just this once. Mm hmm Besides. Oh, oh he's got a gun! Whoa. I got almost a full book of eight coupons left. No, well, you should have presented oh, those immediately upon ordering. Let's get on with the charges. Pizza or MasterCard. <laughs> How was he on remembering to give signals? Uh, hmm. yeah, you admitted the body of the letter, On huh? signals? Well, only fair. Quite a few black marks yeah. against them. But when it came to sounding his horn, he was pretty bad. He was always sneaking up and scaring the wits out of pedestrians. Don't get me I wrong, I enjoyed that. Driving. Hmm. I brought I a clip. I don't think it needs any setup. I called for more caution in driving in the daytime, but I couldn't get the first base with him. It was our first day. What a night. The glare of his headlights did to other drivers. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of little things here, Your Honor, but... Well, then what the hell are you wasting my time for? I show much consideration for the other guy. Hmm. A perfect description of the average driver. Joe was all right until he got out on the highway. Then he was an entirely different person. He became he alarmed by my chances. mottled face and he bumpy skull. Careless, impatient, irritable. I can't say that Joe was out looking for trouble, but... But I did find him down by the waterfront, away. dressed in a spot costume. Just didn't give a kitty, kitty. Don. You know, I'm thinking of growing uh, a goatee. That description fitted someone else I know. If you know who I mean. Hitler. Uh, no, he drove a yes, stick. Your Honor, uh, I had to learn the hard way, too. Hey. Shut up. The toughest job I had with Joe was his speeding. 
Yeah, he was I worse than Corey Feldman or even Corey Haynes. Even if he keep within legal speed limits, he might still be going too fast. Oh. You know, such as oh, rock creatures, backward stars, cross. Oh, that was great. Momentum was just another name in the physics book as far as Joe was concerned. Hey, that was a low blow. Judge, if I weren't a ghost, there were times when I would have been scared to death. <laughs> Joe's specialty was a right turn from the center of the street. Uh -oh. He used to wow him with that one. He was great. He was never what an artist. concerned about the drivers he cut off. Wow. Or the pedestrians who had the right of way at the Whoa. curb. Wow. Look. Then when we'd approach a stop sign, he'd never stop dead. Oh, no. He'd come down to a slow road. Hey, he feels bad enough. And then give it the gas. And then give him the bird. <laughs> However, he did learn one thing that seemed to stick. Gum. <laughs> one day we were driving in a residential section, approaching the playground of a school. Uh -oh. Without any warning, a ball bounced out directly in front of I'm the car. I'm huge. And right behind it came a kid. The little fella disappeared behind a hooded <laughs> car. Joe jammed on the brakes. Ooh. Started to jump out of the car. Mm. Then the little boy ran out with the ball clutched in his With his skull clutched in his hand. Close call. Joe slumped back into the driver's seat. He said a silent prayer to Bongo, the god of gravity. After that, I never had any <laughs> trouble with Joe around schools. He'd crawl by at a snail's pace. Nursing homes, though. Whoa! See, look out. Uh, Joe had two kids of his own at that school. And if his yeah. wife ever found out... Do all that way when it gets close to home. A pity they don't always drive as though their own families were in danger. You make me sick. It was another bad habit Joe had. His Oh. Huh? Oh, hold it, you'll want to hear this. This is good. <laughs> I love Fibber McGee and Molly. And at the halftime, well, injuries are ahead of fatalities here in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. think, I'm uh, so ashamed. Ooh. Wow, looks like uh, Nixon's enemy list. Scratch another one. Hurts, doesn't it? So, go on with your little story. Go ahead, puny man. As I was saying, so, one of Joe's worst habits was hogging the center of the road. If some driver behind Joe honked his horn, well, Joe would lose his temper and start to put on speed. But if Joe was behind some other mm. driver, well, that was different. Mm, yeah. He cut out with a burst of speed, not knowing what was behind or in front of him. Then one day, we were behind another car, climbing a steep hill. See? Joe became impatient, and then came the truck. Joe saw the danger. Oh, he was always quick to see the danger to himself. The truck was bearing down. Joe cut back suddenly. Whoa. He made it. But the poor guy behind The poor him guy was with James the Dean, road. the end. Sir, even a ghost <laughs> has feelings. Well, I was so disgusted with his selfishness that Why I, I booted him right in his there. front seat. If I hadn't given you my solemn promise to stick it out with him, I would have. Just relax now. Take it easy. Sorry I blew up you like that. You won't have to drive it anymore. Um, by the way... What are you doing Friday night? Did you ever drive when he'd been drinking? Oh, boy. I need my other scroll for that. That's a doozy. Oh. Well, sir, he... Got in? I want the whole truth. So help me, me. Well, sir, <laughs> Joe did take a nip occasionally. Hmm? He wasn't really what you'd call a drinker. Just a cocktail now and then. Just a half you gallon now the and then. Die, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, I know how the boys are. And I know where the boys are. I have a book full of those just a cocktail or two drinkers. Turks wouldn't let me in their club. Drivers and pedestrians, too. Dead ones. Big ones. Just a cocktail or two. Fool! Any abnormal physical or mental condition due to drinking liquor is, is an intoxication in this state. Mm -hmm. The careless driver or pedestrian is usually creepy. careless regarding the other fellow's rights and safety. But as to his own safety and well-being, mm -hmm. he's downright selfish. Ha! <laughs> now, dilute that dangerous frame of mind with just a cocktail or two. Oh, okay, thanks. And he I'll even think, forgets about his own safety. That is one of the reasons why that... Is going to be on the final? ...ticked uh, off a traffic accident in this state... Hey, if we're talking mob murders, we'd be digital. Minutes. 
<laughs> Incidentally, was there any traffic rule he didn't violate? Oh, yes, sir. I never hit and run. Huh? Oh, well, that changes everything. Well, if you had, you would have been booked in... <clears throat> in Flammoth? In what? a lower what? court. Oh. So you never hit and run. Why, that's so despicable an act despicable. that I wouldn't even accuse you of doing it. Never hit and run. Why, I ought to Was throw his car that. regularly inspected? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm no commie. Oh, yeah. At the last minute. Uh -huh. But you'll never know how I had to nag at his conscience to get him over for an inspection. Why, I had to throw all the statistics in the book at him. Ooh. Over 256,000 cars rejected Ooh, for punk no steering Joe. gears. And over 800,000 cars rejected for dangerous brakes. And over 1,400,000 <coughs> uh, cars okay, rejected for Okay, thank you, Mr. Spock. Lights. And those figures always got him. Uh -huh. Why, here's proof that I got him to keep his car in good running condition. He can't blame his accident on his car. Well, we'll mark that Exhibit B. And I'll slit my wrist Where's with it, because I'm bored by this whole thing. Exhibit A. I've heard about enough of him as a driver. No, how, how is he as, as a, a cocktail waitress? Well, hmm? sir, as a pedestrian, he was different. As a driver, he thought he owned the highway. But as a pedestrian, he knew he owned it. Oh. He'd weave through traffic like a mouse through a maze. Squeaking and calling He's himself Algernon. Heaven help the driver who might come close enough to frighten Joe. And bless the beasts and the children. One day we were at a busy oh. intersection. My mind was on other things for a minute. As the red light flashed on, Joe got away from me and started diagonally across the intersection. Oh. Now, instead of walking over to this corner, and then over to this corner, mm -hmm. Joe decides to take the shortcut. He had uh, just about reached this point. That's when he stepped into a wormhole and was transported to the 16th century. <laughs> I see. You uh, tried to get here earlier, eh? Hmm. Yes, sir. He almost made it, too. He found out the hypotenuse of a triangle in traffic is the shortest road to the hospital. Oh, that was a good one. Ah, he looked like a hamburger that time. Two long, happy months. My only rest in the 15 long years that I had to spend with that guy's conscience. Oh. Hmm. Ah, what happy days. <sighs> there I was with not a care in the world. Mm. Get Just on with that. Out of traffic, Jeez. it was wonderful. But, of course, all good things come to an end. Including the wildwood oh, weed. Well, for the next oh, yeah. few weeks, Joe was the perfect pedestrian and driver. Then why not he... he, uh, yeah. stayed up with a sick friend. Mm. What's that? Well, uh... Well, he got plowed, he okay? He Maybe it was like he said, it was the hamburgers he ate. Anyways, the next morning, his head throbbed so hard, I almost felt it. He was higher than Judy Garland. He got behind the wheel of his car. And that had to be his last day, Your Honor. Oh, what a pity. He really went to town or somewhere. He landed right on the X. That takes fault, direction. Sir. From sheer exhaustion, I closed my eyes for just a fraction of a second. Uh -huh. I failed you, sir. Hey, who's on trial down. here? I was so weary... Nothing seemed to matter. Oh. Fifteen years... On a dead man's chest. Joe Dope's <laughs> driving kind of conscience... Sorry. ...is punishment enough even for a ghost. You have completely paid the penalty for your own carelessness in traffic. You are now a free ghost. See the clerk and free leave ghost. the gown. Go? I free can ghost! Go. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Stay with heaven! Free ghost! What a relief! What a huh? relief! The hell with Joe, I'm out of here. Mm. <laughs> he was out uh, with the, the... It's high noon. Oh, that's the angel leaving. He's dead now. Oh, I think that's yeah. James Dean, or Isadora Duncan, or maybe Jane Mansfield. Hmm. Can I watch some TV now, Grandpa? Stop it. Stop what? it. What? What am I, I doing? What? It. What? Oh. Stop it. Oh, I wish I could stop it. Oh, I wish I were dead. Uh, oh, I am. <laughs> Joseph Dokes, well, as to passing sentence upon you, I must leave that to this jury of drivers and pedestrians. Oh, guilty. Yeah. Hang him. Uh, String him up. And get the director, easy. too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, 
Jury. Huh? Before you retire to pass. Oh, that's that great. We're stranded in space and we Please still have to pull jury duty. Everything not me. Hey, this is important. Pay attention. Shh. He was kind and considerate to everyone. Except his grandmother Except and the kitty. Okay, <laughs> all right. Here, come on. I'm come on. blown out of here. Shh. You, just hang around you can us. stay, Crow. I gotta see. He was inconsiderate on dimming his headlights. He wasn't too careful about speed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He seldom came to a full stop. I remember at that. Stop signs. No. He frequently hogged the road. Hogging the road, right, I remember. Passed on hills. I must say, in his favor, that he did have regular car inspections. Yeah. And now, <laughs> most importantly, before you hand in your verdict, think, consider carefully your own qualifications as a driver yeah. and a pedestrian. My qualifications? Are you qualified? Am I qualified? Judgment oh, oh. on Joe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not qualified. Anyways, the next morning, his head throbbed so hard, I almost felt it. He was higher and than Judy Garland. Garland. He got behind the wheel of his car. And that had to be his last day, Your Honor. Oh, what a pity. He really went to town or somewhere. He landed right on the X. That takes force, direction. Mm -hmm. From sheer exhaustion, I closed my eyes for just a fraction of a second. Uh -huh. I failed you, sir. Hey, who's on trial down. here? I was so weary, nothing seemed to matter. Oh. Fifteen years... On a dead man's chest. Joe Dope's <laughs> driving kind of conscience... Of Sorry. ...is punishment enough even for a ghost. You have completely paid the penalty for your own carelessness in traffic. You are now a free ghost. See the clerk and free leave ghost. the gown. Go? I Free can go. Goes. Oh, thank you, sir. Stay with heaven. Free goes. What a relief. What a huh? relief. The hell with Joe. I'm out of here. <laughs> he went out with the, the... It's high noon. Oh, that's the angel leaving. He's dead now. Oh, I think that's yeah. James Dean or Isadora Duncan or maybe Jane Mansfield. Hmm. Can I watch some TV now, Grandpa? Stop it. Stop what? it. What? What am I doing? What? What? Oh. Stop it. Oh, I wish I could stop it. Oh, I wish I were dead. Uh, oh, I am. <laughs> Joseph Dokes, Where? as to passing sentence upon you, I must leave that to this jury of drivers and pedestrians. Oh, guilty. Yeah. Hang them. Uh, string them up. And get the director, easy. too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Jury? Huh? Before you retire to pass... Oh, that's great. Down, We're stranded in space, and we Please still have to pull jury duty. Everything not me. Hey, this is important. Pay attention. Shh. He was kind and considerate to everyone. Except his grandmother Except and the kitty. Okay, all right. Here, come on. I'm blown out of here. Shh. You can just hang around. You can us. stay, Crow. I gotta see. He was inconsiderate on dimming his headlights. He wasn't too careful about speed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He seldom came to a full stop. I remember at that. Stop signs. No. He frequently hogged the road. Hogging the road, right? I remember. Passed on hills. I must say, in his favor, that he did have regular car inspections. Yeah. And now, ah. most importantly, before you hand in your verdict, think, consider carefully your own qualifications. Yeah. And George Matthews as the you beaver. Do that every it's, movie. Well, you know. Yeah, it's neat. It's in the contract. It's credits. You've got to be there. And who's the commissioner? Arthur W. McGee. Arthur McGee and Molly. <laughs> McGee, McGee. And these fatal traffic accidents mm -hmm. involving key workers in New Jersey war plants. When did you start having these feelings that you were a commissioner? It's imperative that we open a second front. God, second I love you. I want to shout months. it from my oxygen tent. Is this for immediate release, Commissioner? Yeah. No, sit on it for a while. The loss of life 
or any disabling injury to a war worker means a definite setback to our war program. If you kill yourselves here, yes, we can't kill them war. over there. We kill. Sounds like Commissioner Fudd. Our countrymen, without malice, without hatred, without thinking. Without energy, would you wake up? Come on. <laughs> to conserve the lives of the people. Mm hmm. And to improve traffic conditions. Improve traffic conditions. Imagine, if you will, a New Jersey city with a population of over 20. I can 20, almost see it. Enough people to fill a large hey. stadium. Suddenly huh? removed hmm. by death or injury. Wow, looks like a Gino Vanelli concert. Some idea <laughs> of the annual traffic toll in the state of New Jersey alone. Wow. Perhaps you, you can't see it from here, but my torso is fused to a block of granite. But most of the drivers and pedestrians who were involved didn't break all the rules. Just so. Just once in a while, they were careless or inconsiderate. Oh, they didn't want to live in New Jersey anymore. It just take, oh. Yes, driving and walking in modern traffic is often careless, inconsiderate, and from the other But I get a view, kick out of it. Sometimes fantastic. <laughs> It's fabulous. fabulous. It's a bit fantastic, too. It's about a car. Huh. It's called Parallel Universe. The kind you need these days to get home in. <laughs> Neat. And it must be a safe car. One this one checks out. Right. And Lincoln. then there's a driver. Whoa. A guy named Joe Doe. Hi, how you doing? Come on, Joe. See ya. Yeah, he does look familiar. Yep. Sure, he lives on your street. In fact, he's well, under your bed right now. Day. Oh. Sorry. Don't get sore, Joe. Just absent-minded, left mm -hmm. his car in gear. Let it go. Oh! Well, what do you know? He uses so the braille system. Yep. Atta boy, Joe. I'll ten. Mm -hmm. Maybe Joe will be different this time. Oh, oh, oh this is scary. Again, pulling away from the curb. <laughs> Thank you. Without have a nice day. Well, as we were saying, Joe didn't have much patience in traffic. Nope. Joe used to say... If you're going to bury a body in a shallow grave, make sure well, you use quick line. happen to the right <laughs> people. Well, now take that. a situation like this. Oh, convictions against this man. Oh, he might go free. Yeah, he right did a favor for I Sinatra once. Mm. I've been driving for 15 years. Oh, I'm silence. Gonna... This court isn't interested in your opinion. Oh. Proceed. Don't you see, Your Honor, that record of no convictions only proves how well I've guided him. You see, I stopped a car with my luck. face once. My forehead's all bondo. Well, he wasn't a bad fella. No. Good natured egg. Kind to of his family. Hot boy. Very considerate of everyone. Except for oh, right off it. You see, Judge, I'm not such a bad guy. Please let me go back. Just this once. Mm -hmm. Besides, oh, oh, he's got a gun! Whoa. I got almost a full book of eight coupons left. No, well, you should have presented oh, those immediately upon ordering. Let's get on with the charges. Pizza or MasterCard? <laughs> How was he on remembering to give signals? Uh, oh, he admitted the body of the letter, On huh? signals? Well, only fair. Quite a few black marks yeah. against them. But when it came to sounding his horn, he was pretty bad. He was always sneaking up and scaring the wits out of pedestrians. Don't get me I wrong, I enjoyed that. Driving. Hmm. I brought I a clip. I don't think it needs any setup. I called for more caution in driving in the daytime, but I couldn't get the first base with him. It was our first day. What a night. The glare of his headlights did to other drivers. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of little things here, Your Honor, but... Well, then what the hell are you wasting my time for? ...don't show much consideration for the other guy. Hmm. A perfect description of the average driver. Hmm. Joe was all right until he got out on the highway. Then he was an entirely different person. He became he alarmed by my mottled face and bumpy skull. Careless, impatient, irritable. I can't say that Joe was out looking for trouble, but... But I did find him down by the waterfront, away. dressed in a spotting costume. Give a kitty, kitty. Darn. You know, I'm thinking of growing ah, a goatee. That description fitted someone else I know. If you know who I mean. Hitler. Uh, no, he drove a yes, stick. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I had to learn the hard way, too. Hey. Shut up. The toughest job I had with Joe was his speeding. Yeah, he was I worse than Corey him. Feldman or Even Corey Hayes. If he keep within legal speed limits, he might still be going too fast. Oh! You know, such oh, as rock oh, down the backward star cross. Oh, that was great! The momentum was just another name in the physics book as far as Joe was concerned. Hey, that was a low blow. Judge, if I weren't a ghost, there were times when I would have been scared to death. <laughs> 
Joe's specialty was a right turn from the center of the street. Uh -oh. He used to wow him with that one. He was great. He was never what an artist. concerned about the drivers he cut wow. off. Or the pedestrians who had to right away at the Whoa. curb. Wow. Look. Then when we'd approach a stop sign, he'd never stop dead. Oh, no. He'd come down to a slow roll. Hey, he feels bad enough. Through, and then give it the gas. And then give him the bird. Oh, 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 oh this is scary. Again, pulling away from the curb. <laughs> Thank you. Without have a nice day. Well, as we were saying, Joe didn't have much patience in traffic. Nope. Joe used to say, If you're going to bury a body in a shallow grave, make sure well, you use quick lime. Happened to the right <laughs> well, he used to now say take that. a situation like this. If Joe were in a hurry, it seemed there was always somebody in his way. Some inconsiderate guy. Yep. Well, if you can get around him and beat that light at the next corner. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? And here's a hot dog. I got a date with light. death. There goes the light. Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, whoa. You see how it is? As Joe <laughs> yep. often said, these Oh, I've enjoyed this good natured ribbing. Thank you. Not. Thank you very much. Thanks for almost killing me. Yeah, That's you. it. Take me to I'll Third Street. Huh? As Joe says, huh? traffic you, these Joe. days would drive a guy nuts. Ah, like that. Didn't even Well, let's leave Joe to straighten this one out while we get on to the story. Now, there was a street intersection not far from where Joe lived. Called Blood Alley. It every day. No signals or stop signs. Not much traffic. One of those places where nobody bothered to slow down. Made a you good feel place happy. for an accident. I'm any trouble. Here comes a car now from one direction. Hey. And, uh -huh. what? Uh oh. Ah. Here comes Joe from the other. Let's and watch the fun. Slows down, we it think the choke right will be on <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I guess he can't be a witness. Uh, yeah, Rubar, 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 I had the right of way. Ah, oh, tell it to the corpse, pal. Hmm? I was only doing 15 miles an hour. Yeah. Hey, where is that guy? Oh, he's with your wife, Joe. I've been a careful driver all my life. Yeah. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. I've been driving for 15 years, and I never... Hey, is that Patrick never... Swayze's father? Mm -hmm. Are you George Bailey? Oh, oh, sorry, wrong film. No use wasting time with these mortals. They can't help you hey, anymore. Hey, it's Elton John. John my and neighbors, my friend. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah, you used to know. Him. Yeah, they're it's your paw bearers now. Come on. Take my um, hand. See, Daisy. We've got some tall explaining to do. Do you think they're going to talk about how ugly that guy is? Hmm. Come on, let's go talk to Hamlet's dad. There's Mr. Jordan. <laughs> hey, now over there, that's Mick Jagger's cloud. Stay off of it. Now, this isn't one of those high school dreams where they're going to have him walk around naked or... I you know, don't think so. Got a class he forgot about until now. Huh. What is this, an ice rink all of a sudden? Oh, um, by the way... What are you doing Friday night? Did you ever drive when he'd been drinking? Oh, boy, I need my other scroll for that. That's a doozy. Oh. Well, sir, he got in. I want the whole truth. So help me, me. Well, sir, <laughs> Joe did take a nip occasionally. Hmm? He wasn't really what you'd call a drinker. Just a cocktail now and then. Just a half <laughs> gallon yeah, now and then. Eye, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, I know how the boys are. And I know where the boys I are. I have a book full of those just a cocktail or two drinkers. Turks wouldn't let me in their club. Drivers and pedestrians, too. Dead ones. Big ones. Just a cocktail or two. Fool! Any abnormal physical or mental condition due to drinking liquor is an intoxication in this state. Mm -hmm. The careless driver or pedestrian but is usually preaching. careless regarding the other fellow's rights and safety. But as to his own safety and well-being, mm -hmm. he's downright selfish. Ha! <laughs> now, dilute that dangerous frame of mind with just a cocktail or two. Oh, okay, thanks. And he I'll even think, forgets about his own safety. That is one of the reasons why is this that... going to be on the uh, final? ...ticked off a traffic accident in this state. Hey, if we're talking mob murders, we'd be digital. Minutes. Incidentally, 
Was there any traffic rule he didn't violate? Oh, yes, sir. I never hit and run. <laughs> oh, well, that changes everything. Well, if you had, you would have been booked in... <clears throat> in Flammoth? In what? a lower what? court. Oh. So you never hit and run. Why, that's so despicable an act despicable. that I wouldn't even accuse you of doing it. Never hit and run. Why, I ought to Was throw his car that. regularly inspected? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm no commie. Oh, yeah. At the last minute. Uh -huh. But you'll never know how I had a nag at his conscience to get him over for an inspection. Why, I had to throw all the statistics in the book at him. Ooh. Over 256,000 cards rejected Ooh, for punk no steering Joe. gears. And over 800,000 cards rejected for dangerous brakes. And over 1,400,000 <clears> cards <throat> uh, okay, rejected for Okay, thank you, Mr. Spock. Lights. And those figures always got him. Uh -huh. Why, here's proof that I got him to keep his car in good running condition. He can't blame his accident on his car. Well, we'll mark that Exhibit B. And I'll slit my wrist with it, because I'm bored by this whole thing. Exhibit A. I've heard about enough of him as a driver. Now, well, how is he as a, a cocktail waitress? Well, hmm? sir, as a pedestrian, he was different. As a driver, he thought he owned the highway. But as a pedestrian, he knew he owned it. Oh. He'd weave through traffic like a mouse through a maze. Squeaking and calling.